Swagger is currently one of the most used frameworks for APIs. It has the ability to generate an interactive console that makes it easy to learn and use new APIs, has the ability to auto-generate documentation from comments inside of the code, and is backed by a very healthy community. Swagger allows new users to try its UI by emulating what an API could look like for a pet store. For this tutorial, I will walk through how to use the demo to create a new pet, find it by its ID, and then finally delete it. First, navigate to the sample server in your browser by going to petstore.swagger.io. Let's create a new pet. Choose the post method for the pet endpoint. Okay. Click the highlighted JSON found beneath example value to fill in the blank body value. Now change the value for ID into something unique. Let's try it using a five digit number. Change the name value into a unique name for this pet. I'll name it Buddy. Finally, click Try It Out. You'll now be able to see the response you would receive from the server. Let's now find our newly created pet using the Swagger UI. First, let's choose the Get method for the pet endpoint with the pet ID parameter. So we'll close this. And here's our pet ID parameter. Okay, now we're going to enter the ID you created into the pet ID field. Note that Swagger defaults the response type to XML, so we're going to change this to JSON. Click Dry It Out and take a look at the response body to verify the data. Now, we just made real requests to see real responses using the Swagger demo server. If this were our own database we were using uh, to test data with, we would have to now delete it from the server entirely. So let's choose the delete method for the pet endpoint using the pet ID parameter. So we'll close this up here, and here's our delete endpoint. We're going to fill in the value that we've been using. we're going to click try it out. If our response code reads 200, which it does here, the test data has been successfully deleted from the database. Note the other possible response codes uh, and their corresponding messages if you receive something else. Congrats on successfully navigating the Swagger UI and working with its core methods.